before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters, Vocaloiter97, Ryan, Okui Aohara, Canadian Caesar, Brian Monette, Bowler Forever, Chris Perry, Di Oreo 101, and RF. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below to find out more. We'll see you there. So I've been trying to get more into the first-person shooter thing again. Haven't played first-person shooters in a long time, and uh, recently got back into it for uh, Modern Warfare. And gotta say, I'm enjoying the shit out of Modern Warfare. You, on the other hand, you've been doing that, plus you've been throwing this into the mix as well. Shadow Warrior 2. And Shadow Warrior, yeah. And um, I was playing Wolfenstein before that. Mm -hmm. Played all the way through from Old Blood up to Wolfenstein 2 and beat it beat all of those so those are pretty you beat cool. all the good ones yeah and okay. then uh there's one other one too <clears throat> i'm forgetting what it is right now oh destiny 2 yeah 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 but that being said though um you've uh you know you you've seemed to be enjoying the first person shooters again yeah <clears throat> and of course you've thrown in other stuff you played the talus principle not too long ago yeah you you've You've been playing some pretty good... Talos Principle. Cool. Oh, yeah, Metro uh, 2033 yeah, Metro was 20... another first-person shooter I played all the way through. But it's more of a... It's not as fast-paced as most first-person shooters. It's mm. more survival-y and shit. But um, I'm still half... Like, you know, part of the way through Last Light, and I need to get back to it, too. But, uh, yeah, I played through a bunch of other games as well. I've been playing a little bit of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And, and been the playing Witcher. The Witcher. Been playing a lot of The Witcher actually. It's a coin to your Witcher. So and other stuff. So. so overall, though, you've you know you you've been playing some pretty good uh, like, but your experience with Rainbow Six Siege, uh, you've played with uh, several members from the community, mm -hmm. and uh, you've enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. <clears throat> so, hey, anyone out there who's played with Nick, you know, in the comment section down below, feel free to you know make yourselves known. Uh, list, uh, your favorite, your favorite operators, and also, uh, also, uh, if I were to start, uh, what operator do you think I should start with? Um, I'm not sure if I know enough to tell you a good starter operator. Mm. Like, they kind of, I kind of asked them, <clears throat> and I read this one guide, and it was like, play as Habana or Thermite, or uh, a couple others from the Defenders, and I ended up actually not doing that well with Habana. And so I've picked up um, on Attack Thermite is definitely my favorite mm. so far. And on Defense Bandit's my favorite. Uh, I tried Kavera for a few rounds, and I got wrecked. Um, Kavera is a roamer. Mm. On the defense, like, and she can basically, I, I think they have to be down and not killed for her to use her ability. I'm not sure, though. You might be able to sneak up behind people, but that's really hard to do in this game. With Everybody has good headsets on and shit, you know. But, uh, like, she basically interrogates the uh, enemy and asks them where their friends are. Okay. So. Well, <clears throat> I, I know in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, there's the Dead Silence perk, which... I, I equip most of the time whenever I'm playing, and, um... Uh, yeah, I don't know if... I think she might have that, something like that, actually, in this well, as well. Well, I... I want to say that she does <clears throat> have something similar to Dead Silence, if I remember right. And that way you can just, like, sneak up behind... Some, I love doing executions with Dead Silence, because whenever you come up on a sniper's nest, and you, you see where they are, and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna have fun with this... And then you activate Dead Silence, you run up the stairs, get up there right behind him, melee, and then you do your you do your, your kill. Yeah. Uh, I have one, it's literally a wrestling move. It's literally, you do a, like a swinging neck breaker to the dude, <laughs> and it's just like, nice. Hota! and then the other one is the, uh, the ballistic knife. You saw me do that one one time. The ballistic knife one yeah, where that was really cool. Yeah, it's like it's like knife fight. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Surprise! Yeah. He like grabs your arm and you're just like pop. Yeah, <laughs> <Shoot> <laughs> with the ballistic with the blade knife of it. to the throat. <laughs> oh, I love that kill. Yeah, love that kill so much. Uh, the one, the only one that I've done consistently because I have two characters I play as in Modern Warfare. I haven't changed them up at all. I have Mara from the Battle Pass, mm -hmm. um, and then on the other team I'm playing as. Uh, 
a dude that has a ghillie suit for one of his alternates. Uh, that is a, a um, ghost. Uh, I want to say he's... Gator. No. No. He's got a Grinch. Na- Grinch. Grinch, yeah. I was going to say, he's got a name from like some kind of cartoon. It's, it's Grinch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Grinch is the one I used to play as. And and then, uh, so I haven't and executed I anybody with Grinch that I can remember, so I don't remember what his move looks like. But Mara's <clears> is like she, well, it, she's coming up behind him and she stabs him in like the back of the knee and slides past him and then goes ha and stabs him up in the bottom of the chin. Basically. Yeah, that that one's cool. Um, Grinch, I think his is one uh, like it actually can change. You can actually uh, unlock more as the more you play with the character. Uh, Grinch has one that is literally it's a uh, you. You hit the person in the back with a with an axe. You lean them back. You hold their head back, and then you bring the axe down on their face, and then kill them that way. That was one of the more brutal ones. Uh, another one is like the big Russian dude in the in the uh, you know the tank top. Uh, he literally picks you up, body slams you, and then and then uh, stands up and like stomps you in the face. That one's another one I like a lot, but um, in in Siege, I don't think there's really any big moves that can embarrass people, other than the fact of, like, you getting, like... Vera's probably has the closest to it. Okay. It's, like, her thing where she's like, tell me where they're at. It's kind of <clears> kind of like that, yeah. And then she kills you, so... As you do. But, anyway, we have, a uh, We have, uh, Russian Badger's video. Casual, casual, Caviera, or Caviera here, uh, for Rainbow Six Siege. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna fucking drop this hatch on him and fuck him up. First okay. Oh my god. Wow, that worked. I'm impressed, Capcan. I said it was gonna work. But that's my job. I'm Kavera. You're not Put Kavera. Are you trying pillow. to take my position? <laughs> Assassin's Creed did that bitch, dude. That was great. <laughs> Do you have the skin on right now or not? I don't. I don't oh, even know. You blew one. it. It would have been perfect, and I shot it out. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's cool. I'm just bleeding to death! <laughs> of all the operators in Rainbow Six Siege, there's only one that's commonly referred to as the mother <laughs> that makes me want to die, or as it's pronounced in Portuguese, Cavera. Yeah, <laughs> if nightmares could walk, talk, and interrogate, they would most definitely look like this. Please, please, no! Oh god, no! <laughs> now, before I plunge into the cyberbullying abyss that is Cavera, I need to ask you guys something. Do you guys have any idea how casual casual Q has become recently? Because it's pretty damn casual. In a change that much of the player base didn't notice about three weeks ago, who you're matched up against in casual is now dependent on your rank status, like diamond, platinum, gold, uninstall, and kill yourself. That means that even in casual Q, diamonds are going to be matched up with other diamonds, and unranked are going to be matched up with other unranked, which essentially makes the sweaty diamond players extra sweaty, and all of the casual players extra casual. Filthy fucking casual noob <laughs> With the added side effect, of course, that the Q time for unranked players is lightning fast and the queue time for higher skill players like platinum and diamonds is basically a small eternity due to something that ubisoft literally calls clamping which i like to call the clamps my queue is horseshit i'm so tired of my queue i once had time to watch like three entire youtube videos and i forgot i was queued for a fucking match <laughs> <laughs> i like tabbed Damn. out and i was like man i don't really want to watch youtube anymore and i exited out of the screen and my fucking multiplayer casual searching for opponent was there i was like oh my <laughs> God, that's just... <laughs> Watch like six that's episodes of Futurama, do my taxes. Borderline depressing. <laughs> now, because everybody had their rank reset today due to the release of the new Operation Health season, this ultra casual, casual experience may not continue. But while things were casually casual over the last few weeks, I decided to whip out Kavera, whom I never really played at length before, and it was even more frightening than I expected. Spill it. Murder! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not all that scary, but players will not only toss themselves off of buildings to avoid being cyberbullied slash interrogated. <laughs> but they will outright leave the game. Like they'll just say, this shit, I'm out of here. Bye. I gotta throw him out of the stairs here. Oh he's down. A really Keep big fucking side. interrogation, interrogation coming oh, right. Man. Oh, what a big no, he just left the game. That so quickly, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. 
That's still happening. How Just sweaty like, is casual today? This is ridiculous. Covering the basics, because I know so many of you out there are new to Rainbow Six, she's a three-speed, one-armor operator. Even though she looks like she's a one-speed, four-armor operator. Extra thick! Her special ability <laughs> is actually two special abilities, in that her silent step allows her to float around like a ghost, making virtually zero noise while activated. Uh. And of course, she can brutally reveal enemy positions for a limited time with her stabby McStab face interrogations. So right. UAV online. Challenging. Get that motherfucker! I'll hit Fuse if he's still at the desk. I'm gonna check now. He was there for like 30 seconds. Oh, he's still here. He's still here. Interrogating nice. Fuse. Nice. The world friendliest sausage oh. killer. <laughs> oh, everybody's on everybody's on the roof now personally i think that she has a third special ability which is her luison pistol that deals 99 damage at close range that really Damn. makes me mad that ash lived with one health that would have been a perfect interrogation uno health just one <laughs> that's that's actually funny because the pistol does do that amount of damage what do you mean the pistol does 99 damage <laughs> really it does Oh. Of course this thing is designed to aid interrogation, so even if you headshot somebody, it still downs them instead of killing them. So it's something to get used to, but once you do, it's like carrying around an ultra-tiny, super-quiet shotgun in your pocket. Fuck. I got Bucky Brown. Time. I'm gonna get the UAV here. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Ash is here. I got Ash. Damn. Be slow, be slow. It's in that side kitchen room. Right that way. Oh, oh! Damn, badge! Oh, just is. because this pistol does a ridiculous <laughs> amount of damage for being, oh what, God. subsonic ammo and just being like a pea shooter? Yeah, yeah. you know that thing that shoots like little peas at people? Let's give it 99 damage. How's that sound? <laughs> Dangerous peas, boys. Jesus. Christ, that was legit. It may just be personal preference, but I always run the chameleon skin on this thing because it makes it look like a child's nerf gun, which is that much more embarrassing when you see it on the kill cam. Like, are we playing Rainbow Six or are we playing Roblox? <laughs> <laughs> Things get even better once you find out that she has this fast 15 shotgun primary because the only thing better than a shotgun is two shotguns. Uh, That's right, fools! It's another gun! Even though it is deadly, I tend to only use it as a mop to clean up whoever's left after an interrogation, and it happens so quickly. Like, interrogation, whip out spas, everybody dies, the end. Damn! Damn. Jesus. That's nasty. <laughs> More like, wow, shotgun amount of bullets. <laughs> you don't need to be accurate if you shoot them eight times. <laughs> is Yuzo on the hatch? Yeah, he is. He's still here. Falling through. Oh, you pick it. He's going to get interrogated. Something, something. Where's your hostage now? As long as I get Ibana, I'll be happy. I don't know if I have the range, though. No, oh, I do. Oh, Ivana's dead. <laughs> dead. She does have an M12 machine gun, which obviously gives you more range than having two shotguns, but I'm not a huge fan. The whole rate of fire slash low damage slash not being a shotgun qualities really don't float my boat. That should not give you time to stop stuff on the staircase. I think that's what I was trying to use, and I couldn't kill anybody with it before I got killed, so maybe I need to switch to the shotgun. Do I don't know, because Buck was out to lunch, and Blitz is just being Blitz, and he's not buffed yet, so what is he going to do? <laughs> the one exception to that is if you want to be a toxic runner that busts outside for maximum toxicity and rage inducement. Then you're forced to use the M12. Oh, oh, Jesus now, because playing caviar, as I like to call her, requires you to skulk around in the darkness for 70% of the round before becoming the other team's worst nightmare, your attire is definitely important, starting with the mandatory green outfit and luchador mask. Oh, interrogate. Yeah. And then we find out where Glass is. Hi, hey, Glass. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's your boy. On one hand, you're getting interrogated by Kevera. On the other hand, you're getting interrogated by Kevera with a fucking luchador. <laughs> <laughs> to maximize your advantage, you can run the default black camo with her terrifying skull and hoodie oh, headgear. Oh, because shit, believe yeah. me, I've run past plenty of calves wearing that outfit without noticing them. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How do you fuck that up? The final piece of the <laughs> is a legendary Pokeball, or impact grenade. The cornerstone of every nutritious Kibera breakfast. Did you pull out an impact just then and just hold it? Yeah, it's like a Pokeball. You don't do that? Oh. 
Charizard, no, no, I choose no. you. I was, like, I was spectating you last round, though, and it was like every time you changed your weapon, your character would, for a microsecond, yeah, blood like, impact like grenade. Use a Pokeball. You're going to take down Charizard with that for sure. Okay, what about an Ash? A what? An Ash. Are you going to catch an Ash? <laughs> yeah. That seems tough. It doesn't pack the punch of a frag grenade, but when it comes to busting through walls so you can flank in a hurry, these things are your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I threw that shit before I walked in the room. I never do it because there's always bitching. Claymore. Like, this is just Claymore Cave over here. You're not even here anymore. Except for those My two, God! Those something, something, you just planted a diffuser in the wrong bomb site. But I must warn you, playing Cav, the casual cyber bully, is definitely tricky when you first start out. You kind of have to pound your head against the wall until you slowly improve with her and understand how important sound is. <laughs> what was the strategy? Why would he rush that with a shotgun? I don't get why people do but that. Just like me, you'll most likely accidentally murder people instead of downing them and interrogating them, which is okay. Ow! Oops. Oops. Uh, we have a lot of that, I did not mean Fuck! that. Maybe I should go back out and get him. Oh, I accidentally killed him. I'm an idiot. Why did I do That's that? That's fine. Dead is dead. No way. Well, the information oh, is important, but still, at least they're dead. <laughs> what was she? What? Why? Why was she there? <laughs> what game what are we playing? I have the slightest clue. Trust me, the butt frustration and learning curve will pay off once you understand how quickly she can turn a game around. Wow. Damn. One. I see I see her over there. I don't know if I can get the angle though. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You got the angle. I'll, I'm just gonna I I, I don't want to <coughs> Oh my god. The Is this gonna happen? The, oh was she drop shot? Oh. What? Interrogate? Question mark? That's illegal. Uh, am I being baited? Because I, I feel like I'm being baited. Oh my god. She she, she oh my god. Into your arms. I hear him, I hear him. He's, he's right here. <laughs> You're a fucking clutch master. Hello there. A fun fact, in case you didn't already know, if you melee an enemy while in silent step mode, it doesn't kill them, it downs them, which is perfect for an easy interrogation. Yeet! And most of the time, it is worth sacrificing yourself for the interrogation. Like, even though you may die, your death is easily worth revealing the real-time location of the entire enemy team in most situations. I love letting new players get the final kills once you interrogate somebody. Like, just let your teammates roam free and take a step back after you reveal enemy positions, and they swarm like moths to a flame. It's horrifying. <laughs> Just be careful when exiting your position after slicing someone's jugular, because oftentimes the game can shove you into nearby objects and make you stuck. If you remain in the zone, get it. I'm stuck in the wall. What is this? I can still get her, but I'm still stuck. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> matter, he's still <laughs> killing him. What? I'm stuck in the wall. What? I'm gonna remain calm and peek somebody. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. <laughs> that was smooth. And I let yeah, you know that, was... that Clarence still exists. I don't know why you guys thought that Clarence died. Those of you starting rumors that I threw him in a garbage disposal can go <clears throat> clip some coupons, you heretics. All right. <laughs> I miss playing meaty. High skilled ceiling up. Like Doc and Rook. Maybe I should main Doc for all of optional health. I'll Operation consider. health. Operational health, sorry. Moar Badger. It actually says Badger this time. Yeah. Oh. Must be one of his early videos. Because <laughs> now Which it's. Means more... that gun is probably nerfed by this point. <laughs> probably. I wouldn't mind trying out Cavera because <clears throat> I wouldn't mind being the sneaky boy. I wonder if I can find the same page with all the stats on the guns that I had before. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, uh, that's the thing. Uh, it. it... <laughs> uh, 
Oh, God. I just keep thinking back to when, uh, you know, just... Wait a second. Just, whoa, whoa, okay. <clears throat> that was weird. Comment section just just blew up. Uh, just I, I, I go down here, and I have it, like, right here. And then all of a sudden, it just goes... Blah, 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 and all of a sudden, I'm, like, 400 comments down. And I'm like, how the hell did that happen? Ooh. I don't know either. I... I that's odd shit to figure out. But overall, man, I mean, this, uh, you know, this is 2017, so this is uh, almost three years ago. So, yeah, maybe things have changed since then. It still does 99 damage. Okay. So, still pretty still, still pretty chunky with that thing. Yep. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with uh, with playing that. I wouldn't mind playing that at all. I mean that to me sounds. Yeah, see, that's the thing is they recommended the submachine gun over the shotgun on this. I wonder if the shotgun's changed any. I don't know. I don't know what all. I don't know what all has changed. I think that shock the spaz might have been nerfed actually because it says uh, it only has thirty <clears throat> damage and six shells per clip. Uh, Mac, uh, mix that with a recoil that is off the charts even for a shotgun, and the choice is pretty clear. So yeah, that's uh, that's. But I might still try the shotgun and just see what happens. Like, I mean, if the recoil is possible to control, like then maybe. I mean, it depends. It looked to me like he didn't have much recoil on it in that video, so I think it probably got nerfed between then and now. Yeah, there's probably a lot more recoil on it. I'm sure the comment section can tell us because most yeah. people in the comment section keep up with the game. <clears throat> it seems like on these videos. Yeah, so feel free to let us know down below in the comment section, guys, because. You know, I'm all I would all like for... to play Kavera. She seems like a fun operator. And just I just thought I'd get used it. to playing her correctly. So. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, me starting out, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who all, like, what all, uh, freaking, uh, I think my problem with her is I tried to run around too much <laughs> with her at the beginning of the matches, whereas he was saying, like, you know, lurk in the shadows for the first seventy percent of each round, and then become the other team's worst nightmare at the end. Basically, yeah. So basically, like, give them a few minutes to come in while you're hiding away somewhere, and then get behind people and fuck them up. And, and then all of a sudden, reveal where everybody's <clears throat> at. You see one hanging back, and he's just like, he's like, "All right, guys, I'll watch this back." Here. And then all of a sudden, you just come <laughs> behind him. No, you come <laughs> behind him, melee him. And it's like, where are your friends at? Last chance, dead. And next thing you know, your team's just like, oh, hey, there they are. And then just blow them all away. I can't remember who it was. Somebody was making fun of the fact that she's like, she's like, tell me where they're at. Stab. And like, doesn't even wait for an answer. <laughs> like, and then just somehow knows. Yeah. If anything, I it, I can compare Kavera to, it's a spy with a dead ringer. I can't remember if that was on a different Badger video or what it was. But it's like, it's like tell me where your friends are. <laughs> I know where their friends are. Well. So I yeah I might try out Kavera if I if I get uh, if I install or if I play Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> it reminds me of, like that recent like I've seen that joke recently a couple times like but actually it's not a recent joke because it was in Star Wars Episode Five wasn't it? It's like they didn't even ask me any questions like yeah that was a uh -huh. like somebody else brought that joke back again recently for like a torture scene it was like they tortured me but didn't even ask me anything they didn't even ask me any questions. He's like, aren't you supposed to be asking questions while you do this? And the guy's like, oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was a, this was a casual, casual Kavera uh, Rainbow Six Siege by the Russian Badger. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And if you all want to see more from Russian Badger, link to the original video is down below in the description. Feel free to check that out. If you want to see more from us, you know what to do. You hit that subscribe button. You ring that bell. You leave a like on the video. It helps us out a whole lot. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.